Hey guys, it's Ben, uh, welcome back to Rayman 3. In the last part, we uh, fought a dude in a big kind of stringy, crushy thing, and then we uh, died a lot on the TNC Highway. And in this part, we're in the Bogomir, a very interesting looking place, like, really, it's pretty interesting. One thing I wanted to note is that, uh, you know how I said there's a Murphy score? Hey, look, I did it! <laughs> yeah, all it does is that you get a little Happy Murphy kind of stamp. That's it. I believe... No. So, we're gonna start off this level, um, with a TNT. There's nine TNTs in this level, by the way. So, we'll get two more power-ups, I guess. And we are now introduced to the fifth and final power-up that we can get. This one is, uh, literally making a chopper out of our hair. By the way, I think I lied when I said the, uh, there aren't, the rocket was the shortest, because this one is the shortest. This one's kind of interesting. It basically is the flying power that you got for one level in, in Rayman 2. Except it's for five seconds. <laughs> it is ridiculously short. I love the reflections, by the way. I know they're not like 100% true reflections, but... Man, that looks pretty ni nifty, you know? I also don't know if uh, it is recording a bit too dark. I, I think I may need to boost the uh, the levels. Who knows? So anyway, so you're supposed to go around to the left, but if you want extra goodies, you go around to this right side, where you won't touch the water. And you'll come up here, and you'll notice that there's a teensy... Which, that is now our 12th one, so now we've got... Uh, so now we've got more health and some nice little red gems. Not really a ton, but hey, every 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 part's nice. And of course, we're not going for the score, so don't don't pan oh, don't touch the water. You get a little bit of a grace period, but you can't touch it for long. Also, the music kind of amps up. You, did you hear that? Yeah. So anyway, out of the frying pan and into the, the, the hot pot, I guess. Because, because we've got another boss fight. This one's actually really interesting. Basically, you're supposed to not uh, get hit by that. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to shoot it and that will allow you to chase this person. Turns them into a frog, basically. She's chucking like frog potion things at you. And as she jumps up, you're supposed to hit it. Um, the more damage you do, she'll start uh, throwing three of them. So it's a little bit harder to dodge it. But, of course, the principle still stands. Really, all you have to do... Also, that. This. This attack is just like, you have just got to jump. It's a bit silly, especially the sound. And then she goes for the hit. She goes for a cheap hit. Other than that, though, it's not too tricky of a fight. It's definitely tricky if you're a young, wee, like, eight-year-old kid like me playing this for the first time. You can also hit, hit her just normally, but, of course, she's faster than, uh, than you. So you can't catch up to her, really. I wouldn't really recommend locking on, because you don't really need it. You're just trailing her anyway. Oh, she's going for, she's going for the run. And then cheap shot. Oh, bam! Who got the hit? Me got the hit because I speak in the in terrible English tense. It's not tense. I don't know. What, what's the term? Nomination? Oh, okay, so I've been turned into a frog. Being turned into a frog is not the worst thing in the world, but you have to keep jump, like, going right. Because otherwise she will hit you. That, that, that's how you get hit. So you can't, so you are allowed to get hit by, uh, by the frog things. But you shouldn't, and you'll keep hearing me hitting the square button, because it's really, like... I, I feel like ideally you, you, you'd build up a punch, but... I was just going for the run. Ow. I was going flawless, you ruined it. Ow, and now I'm getting careless as well. And, and I've been turned into a frog again. Music's interesting. So 
I think ideally you, hit, you jump when you hit the ground, and that way you're faster. I don't really know. I don't know the specifics, but... Anyway, we're, we're losing points because... Because that's how this game works. Ah, gosh. She, she doesn't have that much health left. The health bar, by the way, the health bars are so long in this game. Like, look at look how long that bar is. Oh, that, did I really not punch it? Man, I, I it looked like I was cheating at the beginning of this fight, and now it's just sucking so bad. Oh, you've got to be kidding! Yeah, I get it, game. I get it. You don't have to. Oh. There we go. We're gonna run around the other way. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! You gotta be kidding! Come on! Oh, she's going for the run. Oh, come on! <laughs> ah. ah, dude, the angle hits. That's the confusing part. Oh, come on. I like how the game is like, yeah, nah, you don't have to deal with that. And this, this is the longest fight in the world because I suck pretty bad. There we go. There we go. We can, we can finish this right here, right now. You have a sliver of health. Oh, she's just bailing. She's just bailing. She's just going for it. So that was that fight. You get 1,500 points for it. I guess it's worth it. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's an interesting fight. It just kind of comes out of nowhere, especially like right after the previous fight. A little, a little weird. Get the points. <laughs> and then she's just hiding in a weird little cauldron helmet thing hat. I wonder if there's like any kind of goodies. That's that kind of tucked away. That's pretty nifty. Anyway. Anyway, we just jump in the mirror and whoa! I don't really know how we ended up here, but all right. Anyway, we just kind of end up at more swamp. Now, the Bogomir is a bit of a I don't know. Does anyone like swamp levels? Who knows? Oh, <laughs> they're just kind of sitting there. It's nice. And then you've also got these things. So we've got a bit of an interesting combat situation going on. Can we jump up here? Nope. Double checking them secrets. This is probably the stage where I won't get all the, um... Ah! Oh, Brana's classic. Anyway, let's just go for a fight, shall we? So we're gonna punch these, this guy up. Now you can't get the stilts, man. You can't get him. Until you beat up this guy and you get the uh, the tornado gauntlets. Then, I get it game, I'm, just because I didn't do that fight, well, doesn't mean I'm not good at all. Uh, doing that will give you, uh, will release that thing. And you may be going... You can hit this guy with charge punches, but you can't knock him back far enough in order to defeat him. So you may be going, what's, what's the catch? And the catch is, you're supposed to go up here with the with the wind power and release a yet another Teensy. This Teensy gives you the uh, the Zappy 
clamp. You may be wondering, so how do you use the zappy clamp to the <laughs> How do you use the zappy clamp to defeat this dude? And the trick is, is that you hook onto them and then you can constantly zap him and he'll be knocked back. On top of that, then you can come up here. And what's going on here is that you can jump down this hole, take some damage, because I don't, I keep forgetting I can hover. And you can free yet another Teensy. Is that the fourth one? That is the fourth one, this level. I, I, I guess because normally the last kind of stages in each level is pretty, pretty short. So we get a little flight power. There's no real use for it other than to get out. <laughs> so, yeah. Other than that, that was, that was a bit of a shortish area. That was, how many minutes? Like, three? Some of these areas, some of these areas are pretty short. The stages. Um, and it, and it purely depends. Um, just on the section. But now, we're in yet another part. That's kind of interesting. We got, we got a different kind of enemy showing up. Kind of, kind of, kind of. I'll keep saying kind of. And it actually defeated the hoodlum. So other than that, we're just hitting the face. Gives us the, uh, the zappy clamp. Serial shooter. Um, other than that, I don't remember a lot about this area in particular. Oh god, there's a guy sleeping in his outpost so you can just hit him in the face. Yet another Teensy, that's our fifth one this level. I have to go to my modern jazz class. He just gives you one of these. This area kind of reminds me a bit of a uh, Rayman 2. The, probably the enemies, that's why. Uh, but I don't exactly know like how related Rayman uh, 3 is to Rayman 2. I mean, every ar area is kind of different. Uh, Lee the Fairy doesn't appear, although I believe Lee the Fairy is a... Uh, there's a little... there's a little statue. I'm fine. Oh, come on. Come on, I'm beating him up. Can't take that away from me. And then the game teaches you how to lock on, because apparently I didn't know before. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Alright, here we go, we'll make the run for it. I feel like it's supposed to be hitting the, um... The piranhas, but yeah. Anyway, so we get the wind power, and you may be going. So, what do you use the wind power for? There you go, hit the piranha. You don't even get points for it. What's the? What is the point when there is no points? So we're gonna hit these th uh, mushroom things, spin them down, nice and easy. This guy is not helping his friend. It actually shrinks enemies. It's a little strange. This should give us enough uh, opportunity to go up against this guy, this guy in the boat, and this guy on the stilts, who, <laughs> who dies by falling into the water. Wow, really game, I already did it. I'm actually going to go back for more power, because I feel like we could do better with the double. I just I <laughs> drop into the water, that's what I'm doing. Taking all the damage. Nice. Anyway, that gives us the zappy, the zappy, uh, dap, the zappy claw. There's a boat over here, and I actually think this is a secret, if you get over to this boat. There we go. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's maybe not go for those. Does the boat just keep going around if I get back on it? Yeah. Is the boat gonna go for a victory mile? Yeah, it is! Is that not a red gem in there? I'll oh, stop it. <laughs> it's a boat that is operated by your feet. By literally standing on it. Yeah, this is the future right here. And then we just see all these airships out in the distance. I like... I like a lot of these uh, early 2000s games. I'm just going like... All the minor... I say like a lot, I'm sorry. 
Um, all these minor just scenery bits. Just take it, take it in, I guess. Oh, we weren't lock locked in. I, I think this thing's actually called the lock jaw. Hit this thing, I guess, for health. Because everyone uses health. And that that was it, apparently. Alright. Sure, I guess, I'll take it. Um... I, I, I want to call it off here. I want to say this is the end of the part, because... It keeps going for a bit, so I guess until then, I'll see you guys next time, uh, where I don't know what will happen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and yeah, yeah, see you kids next time. Bye-bye! Oh, jeez. Attack him. Ah!